Here's an interesting title. I have no idea what this is about. I don't read these beforehand. But I always kind of wondered what it might be. Citizens of Two Worlds. As a Christian, if you've been a Christian for any length of time, done any study, you kind of you might have an idea what this is about. But sometimes they surprise me. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. <sighs> Philippians 3.20 Okay. That being said, today's date is November I think 13th or 14th. We just had the midterm elections, which turned out to be quite disappointing. Um, culturally, as a people, Western culture is... Um, I'd say beyond halfway to hell in a handbag. Um, we're a mess. And so it's nice to know that we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's our bailout, people. Anyhow, back to this. Believers in Jesus live in two worlds with two citizenships. That's kind of where I thought this was going. We have, as Paul said, citizenship in heaven... But now we have our citizenships in this world. However, having citizenship in heaven doesn't preclude us from having responsibilities in this world. How can we live out our heavenly citizenship here? Hmm, this might be interesting. I disagree with a lot of what churches teach about this topic. Prayer for leaders. I urge, then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. First Timothy 2, I totally agree. Submit to government authority. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. That's Romans 13. We'll just leave that right there because Christians have a whole lot of views back and forth on that. You'll have to work that one out yourself. What I would suggest you do, if that doesn't sound right, go and read Romans 13, spend some time on it, meditate and pray on it until you get an answer. That's, that's revelation for you. Don't take my opinion. Don't take anybody else's. Go to the source. That's Matthew. Uh, I'm sorry. It's Romans 13. Render to Caesar. Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. It's Matthew 22. It's another one that you can go back and forth on. Live an honorable life. I, just as soon as I read that, I know, this is that first Peter. And it is. Live an honorable life. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers. Fear God. Honor the emperor. First Peter 2. We also have the challenge of living like Jesus in our countries of citizenship. This involves the things that represent his heart. Care for the poor, help for the weak, and justice for the oppressed. All of this, however, exists with a significant qualifier. When threatened by the leaders of the religious government of Israel, Peter wisely responded, We must obey God rather than human beings. That's Acts 5. Our first allegiance is always to Jesus. Hmm. You can do a lot with this. What does it mean to be a good citizen in this world as a believer in Jesus? This month we looked at how to be citizens who honor Christ and positively impact our communities. The topic was addressed in the above feature article. Okay, this was something else. Uh, citizens of two worlds. Um, if nothing else... If you're a believer, a Christian, or even if you're just window shopping, um, there's definitely this 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 theme that we are a citizen of two worlds, both both in the in the spiritual. I look at it from the spiritual realm, not so much the heavenly realm, but um, something bigger and better beyond this place. It's this whole thing gets recycled. Um, you know, like I am a citizen of the United States of America. But I'm also a citizen, uh, a heavenly citizen would be the goal, okay? And then they have the laws that I'm living to or living, trying to live up to those standards through Jesus Christ or uh, to Jesus Christ. 
and uh, a whole different ball game. But you, you're, it's like, um, well, you have the, the, my spiritual duties, and then I have my duties here as a human being, or whatever the case is. I might be confusing that, but I think you get the idea. But there's that constant theme as a believer. You are a citizen of two worlds, and you have to act accordingly. Anyhow, love you, God bless.